Y'all hear about video games? When I first got into Warhammer, kitbashing was what really drew me to the hobby, and one of the earliest kitbash ideas I had was to make a Warhammer version of the Marauder from Doom Eternal. I'd had the idea bouncing around in my head for quite a while, but never got around to doing it. However, once I started my World Eaters army, I realized this was the perfect time to get to work. My first step was to look up a 3D model of the Marauder and take note of all his significant features. It was definitely going to be a challenge to find a model that fit all these criteria and oh look this one's perfect. Once I had freed the Slaughter Priest from his plastic prison, I assembled most of him as normal, being sure to cut off the sprue tabs and remove the mold lines, because I'm not a sociopath. The first change was removing the tabard, since the Marauder doesn't have one. I cut off the tassels, but kept the corn symbol to mimic the Marauder's sick belt buckle. For the axe, I took an arm from the corn skull crusher's kit, cut off the upper half, and then used some green stuff to graft it on below the elbow. By the way, I nearly broke this arm off multiple times as I continue to work on the model, so if you decide to do this yourself, save this step for later. I'll be adding some shoulder armor soon, so I needed to cut the skull and spikes off his back. But first we need to take care of the left arm. The Marauder's left arm is fully armored, so I cut off the Slaughter Priest's flesh arm and replaced it with one from the Chaos Terminator Lord kit. I wasn't sure what to do for the gun, so I left that problem for future me. You're an idiot. Oh no. One of these curved shoulder plates from the Berserker's kit fit perfectly over the Terminator shoulder, and with that I could move on to the head. The head I'm using is from the Chaos Space Marines Possessed kit, but there are plenty of other options featuring both skulls and horns, such as this corpse grinder head from Necromunda. This is Warhammer after all. Finding something with skulls and horns on it should not be a problem. I alternated between shaving down both the head and the neck until I eventually got it to sit in the position I wanted it to. You want to take your time with this part, I've seen lots of kit bashes ruined by poorly executed head transplants. Now it was time for the gun. The Marauder wields a double-barreled shotgun, but since there are no Terminator scale side-by-sides, I figured a twin-link bolter was the second best option. Let me just reach into my bits box here and... Okay, give me a second. I got the bolter, but it's molded onto the arm, so we're gonna do some sawing. The final feature to add was the little glowing armor plate over the Marauder's heart. I used a rondel from the Skull Crusher's kit and just cut the spike off and filed it down. When it came to painting, everything was pretty straightforward. I base coated the entire miniature black, then layered up some greens and grays with a little bit of silver for the trim. Marauder has a very simple color scheme, so there's not really much for me to say here. It took me quite a while to come up with a base, but I eventually decided that rather than focus on skulls for the Skull Throne, I would instead fully commit to Blood for the Blood God. And there you have it. A Marauder from Doom Eternal to spice up the tabletop and add some flavor to your corn army. I'm going to be using this guy as a master of executions, but you could just as easily use him as a substitute for a major character like Karn the Betrayer. If you are watching this video when it releases, I'd like to say thank you for 500 subscribers. Wow. In addition, I want to give a shout out to the members of the Astartes Anonymous Discord server. They have a super active kit bashing and homebrew community that's always posting cool stuff and giving really nice feedback. I highly recommend it. 
I have a lot of things planned for the channel in 2024, but given how long it took me to finish this video, I'm not going to say what they are. If you want to know what I'm doing next, you'll just have to stay tuned.